Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. I am your host, Antoinette Blake, the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger, and I am here with you every Saturday at 10 a.m., bringing you podcasting pointers that will help you to expand your brand online by simply using your voice. You can reach out to me by sending an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com and you can find and follow me on all my social media platforms by simply using the link tree ID A Blake Enterprises. Again, welcome to the Delaware Blogger Podcast and make sure you share this episode and any other episode that you found to be of interest with your family, your friends, your bae, and your boo too. And until the next time, see ya. It's the DE Diva. Have you been a guest on a podcast recently? Or perhaps you accept guests on your podcast. Well, you know, I've been a guest on several podcasts this year, maybe 10 or 12, but I've had over 200 guests on my Out and About with Antoinette, which is every Wednesday at one. And recently I've been getting emails from others wanting to be a guest. You know, I get the you would, she would make a good guess. He would make a good guess. And I'm not sure where all of this is coming from, but I do have a pretty good idea. I want to thank Bruce and Megan over at NY City Podcast Network. You got to check it out. I'll leave the link to it. But this is a great place for podcasters to join in to have their podcast heard by millions and millions of people. You'll get more views and more subscribers and they're voting. You can vote up your own episode and have your friends and your family vote up your episodes too. So I'm going to leave the link to NY City Podcast Network and again say thank you to Bruce Chanfoff, I'd probably mispronounce his name, and Megan for helping me promote my Delaware Blogger Podcast. But let me get back to the subject at hand. Being a guest on someone else's podcast, it's an honor to be asked and a privilege to be asked. But you got to make sure you know what you're doing. So we're going to talk about best practices to be a podcast guest. I recently saw this article from Buzzsprout, which is my host here on uh, the Delaware Blogger podcast. And they were talking about, you know, a checklist, a pre-recording checklist. And that's what I want to share with you today. So as you're getting ready to invite guests on or preparing to be a guest on someone else's show, check out a few of these things that you should do before you hit that publish button or that record button. And obviously I've covered this in previous episodes, so check them out as well. You're recording a software. I record via Zoom. So make sure that it's installed and updated because they're always doing updates. So make sure that you have the the latest and greatest version of whatever recording software that you are going to be using. Restart your computer. I don't know about you, but I very rarely turn off my work computer. I just shut everything down and and leave it up. But restart it, you know, shut it down and bring it back up to clear your cache and shut out any, you know, shut down any old things that may be lingering, including those browsers. Shut down all those different browsers you have open. I had a guest on a show, um, you may recall, and he talked about having multiple browsers open. And it's like, you know, that's just too much. So you want to shut down those browsers in case something happens happens in case there's some, you know, noises and notifications that's coming through. Your microphone. You want to make sure that you have a good microphone, but it doesn't have to be the best microphone. I currently use my MV7, the Shure MV7. Make sure your lights are green because I was actually interviewing a guest the other day and I just happened to look to my left and none of my lights were on green. So make sure that your microphone is ready. And if you're using Zoom, it gives you that option to test your microphone as well as your headphone. Now, headphones are great. I've used them in the past, but I don't really use them too much more. But they help so that you can isolate those sounds. So if you want to put those headphones on, that's good because the sounds is right. The audio has to be right. And speaking of sounds, make sure you're in a space that has good 
sound quality. Make, make sure that your space, it has like soft surfaces to absorb those echoes, rugs, curtains, furniture, you know, pop filters, acoustic tiles. Make sure that you have that good sound because a podcast is basically audio. People are going to be listening to it with their headphones or their earbuds. So you want it to be good quality sound and you have a good, strong connection, right? You don't want your, your internet to drop and fade and, you know, spool and stop, you know, while you're recording. And make sure you hydrate and urinate. That's right. Get that drink because your mouth is going to dry out. But try to stay away from highly caffeinated beverages or carbonated beverages. It's going to make you have to get up and go to the bathroom or burp or whatever the case may be. So make sure you have some water or some hot tea with lemon or something like that. Again, getting back to those browsers, turn off and silence your notifications, not only on your laptop, but on your phone as well. That is one thing that I do um, do prior to recording any episode. I put my phone in a D D and D do not disturb, um, you know, uh, setting so that I'm not getting phone calls and notifications and distractions. Speaking of distractions, other noises, there are always going to be some noises. So turn off the air conditioner, the heater, the fan, close the blinds. I always tell my husband, he knows that I record on Tuesday. So don't run the vacuum cleaner. Don't run, you know, the dishwasher because it's above my head. I may hear it. So if I'm hearing it, my microphone is probably hearing it as well. I know on Mondays, the landscapers are out there. So I'm not recording on days that they're going to be doing something outside of my window. And speaking of unwanted noises, jewelry. Jewelry can also play a factor in the recording. If your earrings are dangling or your bracelet is hitting a hard surface, you're going to pick that up. So again, Make sure your recording uh, software is up to date, Zoom or whatever you use. Restart your computer, shut it down, bring it back up. Make sure your microphone and your headphones, you're testing, you can hear very well. Your space should be good. Soften it. Rugs, throw rugs, moving blankets inside your walk-in closet, acoustic tiles, you know, pop filters. Make sure that you have a good sound quality and get a drink, have that drink there. When I'm interviewing my guests and they're talking, I will sip from my, you know, water. Silence your notifications, yours, and remind your guests as well. And check for any outside noises, whether it's the dogs, the cats, the lawnmower. You know, if someone is working outside, you know, that's not going to be a good time for you to do your recording. And have fun. You know, I always provide my guests with a Q&A that helps with the flow of the show. So when I book a guest, I will send them a registration release form and it'll ask questions about what they want to talk about, you know, their how they want to be addressed, where they can be found. And I will take that content and create a Q&A just so that we can stay on target, on task. And that way the guest knows basically what I'm going to ask. Of course, we ad lib as well, but that helps because you believe it or not, nine times out of 10, when you ask someone to be a guest on your show, it's going to be their first time and they're going to be a bit nervous. You know, we, we all know that. So they may be a bit nervous. So give them, you know, something that they can have in front of them, something that they can read. And again, I want to thank uh, Megan um, and, and Bruce for all that they're doing for um, New York City. Um, NY City Podcast Network, and also my friends over at preempcorp.com. You know, they're doing some amazing things. So if you're interested in learning more about EEO and um, federal contracts, take a listen to this uh, promo, give them a call, hit them up. And let me remind you, if you want to be a guest on someone's show, this is the most important thing. If you want to be a guest on someone's podcast, make sure you've researched the podcast. You know what their show is about. I get all these emails for people to be on my show out and about with Antoinette, and it has nothing to do with what I cover on my show. That's just telling me you're just doing using the hashtag podcast guest or podcast host just to try to promote yourself. And that's not good. That's insulting to your podcast host. Make sure you know something about 
their show. And I, you know, I offer that five week podcasting coaching session. And if you're thinking about becoming a podcaster in the new year, hit me up, send an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com. You can still order my podcasting your purpose resource guide, which will take you from, you know, your idea to monetizing your podcast. And I will leave the link to that book as well, because it would make a great gift for your podcasting friends, for your friends who's thinking about starting a podcast, for you if you want to start a podcast. So again, you know, when you're being a guest, be a good guest. When you're being a host, be a good host. And if you want a copy of this checklist, and I want to thank Buzzsprout for all that they're doing, um, because they're a great hosting, a great hosting platform and a great host, you know, check it out. I'll leave you my referral link there as well. So Check it out. Thanks for tuning in to episode number 317 of the Delaware Blogger Podcast. Did you know that EEO investigators are high in demand? That's right. Companies and agencies are looking for more EEO investigators. So get your EEO investigator certification now. This 32-hour federal EEO investigation certification training has been reduced from its original price of $850. Remember, all of your biz of EEO needs, including refresher trainings, are available at preempt.corp. Send an email to information at preempt.corp or call 202-434-4544. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast because every week I am bringing you podcasting pointers that will help you to broaden your brand and expand your exposure online by simply using your voice. And if you'd like to be a sponsor for the show or you have suggestions, please send an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com. You can find and follow me on all my social media platforms by simply using the Linktree ID, A. Blake Enterprises. Check out my other podcast, Out and About with Antoinette, every Wednesday at 1, where I'm interviewing some amazing people from in and around the state of Delaware. So until the next time, make sure that you share this podcast with your family, your friends, your bae, and your boo too. And I'll see you when I see you. See ya, it's the D.E. Diva, a.k.a. the Delaware Blogger.